The open query file allows us to enhance the functionality of our HLL's file input-output operations on a database file. It offers such features as dynamic record selection, record ordering, field mapping, dynamic join, record grouping, etc. The open query file command creates an open data path for the database file based on the various parameters specified with the command. The open query file command should precede the file open statement of the HLL program. Before the HLL program opens the database file, an override database file command should be issued with the share parameter set to star yes. This will cause the HLL program to use the ODP created by the open query file command when it opens the file. The program will be presented with a set of records that have been selected by the open query file command. When the program completes, we should close the file and also delete the override using the delete override command. Let us look at the various parameters of the open query file command. The file parameter is where we specify one or more file names that are to be processed by the open query file command. Multiple files are specified when we want to perform a dynamic join. Logical files allow us to select a subset of the records from the database file using the SELECT and OMIT statements. But the SELECT and OMIT rules are fixed at the time of compilation and cannot be changed dynamically. The open query file command allows us to specify dynamic record selection through the query select parameter. Here we can specify complex selection expressions using the various arithmetic, string, relational and logical operators. Let us look at an example. Here we are selecting those records where the category field is equal to A and the salary is greater than 30,000. The key field parameter can be used to dynamically order the records based on a specified field. For example, here we are ordering the records retrieved from the employee file based on the employee name field. Another parameter on the open query file command is the map field parameter that can be used to derive new fields from the existing fields in the specified files. For example, an order file contains the quantity ordered and the cost per unit of the item ordered for each order that has been placed. We can derive a mapped field for the total cost of the item from these two fields. Let us see how field mapping is implemented. First of all, we need to create a new physical file with a record format that contains all the fields required from the actual physical file along with the new derived fields. In the cost file, we will include the order ID from the order file and also derive a new field amount that will be the product of the quantity field and the cost per unit field. The cost physical file can be created with the members parameter set to none 
as it will not contain any data records. Our application program must be written to reference the cost file. Before calling the application program, we use the override database file command to override the cost file with the order file that contains the actual data and also set the share parameter to star yes. Next we have the open query file command. In the file parameter we specify the order file which contains the data. In the format parameter we specify the cost file which defines the record format that we require. Next we have the map field parameter where we define the fields that are to be derived from the order file. We have the total cost field which is the product of the cost per unit field and the number of units ordered. Now we can call the application program. Remember to close the file and delete the override when the application terminates. The map field parameter can also be used to distinguish a field when the same field exists in multiple record formats that are part of a dynamic join to perform data aggregation such as obtaining the total of a particular field. We shall see more of this in the coming topics. Let us now look at the dynamic join of two files. An application requires the customer name and order ID from the customer file and for each customer it requires the item code and quantity ordered from the order file and also the derived field cost that we just saw. Let us see how the open query file can be set up to implement a dynamic join. First we create a physical file named sample that contains the required fields as in the previous example. Remember to set the members parameter to none. Next we code the application program to use the new file sample. Then we use the override database file command to overwrite the sample file that contains the required format with the primary file in the join, in this case the customer file. Then we come to the open query file command. In the file parameter we identify all the files to be joined. The first file in the list is the primary file. The join field parameter identifies the fields on which the two files are to be joined. In case there are more than two files to be joined, there will be a set of field entries for each pair of joins specified. On the map field parameter, we define the derived field total cost. We also need to distinguish the order ID field since it appears in both the files. Here we specify that the order ID field is to be taken from the customer file. Now when the application program runs, it will use the ODP created by the open query file command. Remember as usual to close the files and delete the override. In the case of dynamic joins, we close the files by referencing the primary file on the close file command. With the open query file command, we can also specify a key field or fields 
on which to sequence the selected records. Here the fields that make up the key can come from either the primary file or from a secondary file which is not possible with logical files. Another parameter that we have is the group field parameter. It is used when we want to obtain an aggregate of a particular field. We can obtain a count of the records in a group, the sum or average of the values of a field, the maximum or minimum value of a field, etc. Let us see how this works. Say we want to have a count of the total number of orders made by each customer and also the maximum cost of a single unit of any item ordered by each customer. First of all, we create a physical file sample having a record format with the required fields. Here we will include customer ID, a count field that will contain the total number of orders made by the customer and a maximum value field that will contain the maximum cost per unit of the items ordered by the customer. The override database file command will override the file sample with the file customer that contains the actual data and also set the share parameter to star yes. In the open query file command, we specify customer in the file parameter and sample in the format parameter. In the group field parameter, we specify that grouping is to be done on customer ID. In the map field parameter, we specify how the grouped fields are to be calculated. We say the count field is to contain the count of the total number of records corresponding to each customer ID. The maximum value field will contain the maximum value of the cost per unit field among the records belonging to each customer. We can now call the application program. Remember to close the files and delete the override. The open query file also takes an option parameter. It can take two values star all and star INP. When star all is specified, you are allowed to make modifications to the records, whereas with star INP, only input operations will be allowed. The copy from query file command can be used to copy the database records selected by the open query file command to a database file. Here, in the from open ID parameter, you specify the name of the file opened by the open query file command. In the to file parameter, specify the name of the file to which you want to copy the records. The star yes value for the create file parameter will cause the file specified in the to file parameter to be created if it does not already exist. Summary We saw how the open query file can be used to dynamically select records from a database file without having to create a DDS for it. The open query file creates a temporary ODP for the database file. An application that is called after the open query file command will use this ODP 
and will only see the records selected by the open query file command. We saw the various parameters of the command and also saw how some of the parameters provided features that are not available with DDS. We also saw the copy from query file command.